Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video will be about how to feel confident with a skin condition. Now, if you're new to my channel or if you've watched my other videos, just a quick run through. I do have Discoy Lupus, like she's on my face. <laughs> everybody can see her. I don't try to hide her all the time. I mean, I do wear makeup, but not for the reason of trying to hide her. It's because I think makeup is cute and every woman wants to feel beautiful and so the concept of makeup for me is not to hide my skin condition I just want to make that clear so I know I post a lot about makeup videos and tutorials and things like that and then it's not to hide my makeup even though in the past that is why I wore it I felt called to share what how to feel confident with the skin condition I'm gonna share that with y'all this is no quick fix this is literally a journey that I had to embark on three years ago when I was in Hawaii with my sister I'm gonna tell stories of what happened when I realized that I am beautiful and that I am loved and how I'm able to be where I am today ie making YouTube videos showing my face on the internet like that shit was so hard for me in high school and it's a journey that I'm still working through but like anything in life, everything is a journey I just wanted to share with y'all on how I feel confident with my skin condition in hopes that it will help somebody out there with the similar or same situation so first off, so story time I moved to Hawaii in January 2020 uh, I was dealing with moving away from a Latino household not going to college but just to experience life so I was getting a lot of backlash from that and so I felt like I was unworthy of doing these type of things and so I was living with my very wise sister and her husband Antonio and Viole um, and they would speak life into me but at the time I didn't know I didn't even know my own worth so at the time I thought I was an ugly girl like I'm gonna say it as it was like I did not think that I was beautiful but throughout the journey of Hawaii they made me read this book called Miracle Morning. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. They made me read this book. And in the book, it talks about creating healthy morning habits. So at the beginning of this video, I placed that there because that is the foundation of how I set my mind up for success throughout the day. Because literally life will throw so many situations at you and you have to be strong enough to handle them. But handling those situations builds a different kind of self-confidence that you can literally handle whatever life throws at you. I picked up on that habit of creating a morning routine for myself and for me it feels good. If you don't want to read the book, I'm going to tell you what this routine consists of. Wake up, you work out, or you move your body at least. So go on a walk. Pilates is in right now so you can do Pilates. Go to the gym, go for a run. Anything that makes your body move. You're creating endorphins that makes you feel good. So automatically for me when I work out, I'm like like it's gonna be a great ass day because I did my workout I completed it I lifted heavy weights like I can do this shit but while I'm working out I listen to motivational things I do go back and forth with, like feeling worthy like what's my purpose like what the fuck am I doing here so automatically working out makes me feel like I have a purpose the second thing when I come home I meditate I meditate for at least 10 minutes a day now that shit was so hard to pick up on I'm not gonna lie I didn't see results until a month to two months where my anxiety felt regulated because I get a lot of stares like this shit it's different like I'm different and it's not something people are used to seeing like I'm I got used to people staring because they're curious not because they have something to say about me if that makes any sense and if you get a lot of stares then I know where you're coming from like it's kind of like you can literally stare anywhere else but at me like why are you staring at me so hard so I get it <laughs> it's not all the time where I feel like I have it under control I do snap sometimes like what are you looking at or I get scared and I get super insecure like it's not something I'm totally immune to but just want you to know I get it if that is something that you deal with and then I do affirmations and journal so I mix those two together where I'm journaling I get whatever I have off my mind and then I top it off with affirmations and my gratitude and then I visualize now I'm not gonna lie I don't visualize all the time I visualize like once a week even though I know that visualizing is an important part of manifesting I do it like once a week and because I daydream a lot I feel like I'm visualizing throughout my day 
and I'm visualizing like the life I want to create for myself. And so with just my morning routine, that helps me ensure because there's no guarantee in life but it helps me ensure that i'm gonna i have a structure for my day like i have done something for myself i have invested in myself i at least have to meditate and move my body that is one way on how i built my confidence can you imagine that i spent 18 years of my life insecure doubtful it's fucking crazy it's crazy for me to think like i barely started healing myself and healing all my insecurity wounds three years ago so I'm only speaking from experience, I'm no professional in this, but this is what has helped me. So then I picked up on that habit. It's part of my routine now. I can't negotiate it for my mental sanity, like it's a must. My sister had some friends in Hawaii. I love them so much. They literally changed my life because all throughout middle school and high school, I got bullied. I just couldn't find people who I could trust. But my sister had this group of girlfriends. Um, she introduced me to them and we decided, I think they introduced my sister to, I don't really want to say it on YouTube, <laughs> but they introduced my sister to tripping. Um, like, my sister knew about it, but actually doing it. And she introduced me to it, so then I, we all did it as a group of friends. And it was, it was my first spiritual awakening, and on that trip, I realized that I am more worthy than I think I am and the best way my sister explained it on the come up you're realizing a lot of things so when I was realizing a lot of things it was a lot of like self-worth in the days that I was bullied and my beauty like my brown skin my skin condition like it's all beautiful and then on the come down it's like a warm blanket of self-love and that's the best way I can describe it but that's not a quick fix because you have to do that you have to do the work after and so from those days to now when I'm filming this video I do the work on a day-to-day -day basis um, of healthy self-talk healthy self-care self-love and self-investment I think those are the best four big things that I can say have helped me on how to build self-confidence with my skin condition I choose to do the hard things in my life so that I can grow that but you guys don't have to do the hard things like I did sales I did a male dominated industry like I said at the beginning of this video this is no quick fix to self-confidence this is a journey and it's baby step by baby step and I am still working on that and I know what you're thinking like what's the difference of having confidence and having confidence with a skin condition I have a different type of an awareness and that I am worthy of being in a room with a group of people because I did self-isolate. I think for my people who get it, they get it. Like, that's not something I can explain to you. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope somebody out there gets me. So this is my short take on how to feel confident with the skin condition. And I knew filming this video, I wasn't gonna have any quick fixes. And I felt like I needed to share it on YouTube. I'm not doing this for myself, but for another little girl out there that needs a virtual friend to just walk her through it. That's what I'm here for, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. But nobody has the answers, and I don't have all the answers. If you were looking for an answer that you couldn't find in this video, you can ask me in the comment section and I'll respond. You can mess me, message me on Instagram at the end of this video. I'll have my Instagram page up. Thank you all for watching this short video on how to feel confident with a skin condition. I'm looking forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!